I-100 north today, um, Ardmore, Oklahoma, Redneck Off-Road Heaven. There is some crazy, crazy racing action out here. This track is hard. It's challenging. Now, I wouldn't call it brutal, but I'd say it's challenging for sure. It's very similar to your rules. The only exception is I'm allowing a 224. If it's a bone stock 224, it can be in stock class. If it's open, obviously that's out loud. I noticed as soon as you sit on it, boom, it, nothing's touching. Last year, yeah, that's so how mine is catching rocks and stuff. A lot of it. Dave Sedoti. Oh, what's going on? Just out here to have fun. Right. It's not fast, but it looks cool. Oh yeah, it definitely <laughs> looks cool. Like I said, you can't you can't even tell this is a a CT200. Right. That's what I was going for. It just looks cool. The whole backbone, swing arm, back end, uh, I built myself and uh, made some billet triple clamps, put some pit bike forks on it, 10 inch front wheel, uh, some old KTM plastics I had laying around the shop from when I used to race real motorcycles. Yeah. All right, so what started out, life is just a regular uh, MB200. The GPS 180 came up, and so we got the front brake kit. We got the shock mount kit. I upgraded the uh, the gas tank so we could get a little bit more mileage out of the, the endurance races. Then Go Power Sports got the 225 Tilliston. It's built to the hilt. It's got a 265 fire cam, uh, ARC billet rod, connected rod, ARC flywheel, 24 millimeter uh, genuine McCoonie carburetor. This thing rips. I have the juggernaut on it now, and we're thinking about doing the spring upgrade kit on it just because this bike is just so yanked out. It, it could probably use it. You can find everything at Go Power Sports, guys. Y'all check it out. I actually got to ride uh, the Mega Moto that Go Power Sports brought for the, uh, for the parade lap. Yeah, man. With the new swing arm kit, oh my God. It is smooth as butter. You can just rip right over. So I even laid into it and just sat down on it. Just to see how it would feel across the bumps. It was butter. But you up on them mid pegs, when you're up on them mid pegs, you can just get it. It is a miniature dirt bike and it's got power. A lot of power. What do you usually race? I usually race a hardtail uh, uh, Coleman, the CT200 EXU or whatever yeah, it is. I remember seeing you last year yeah. killing it. Yep, so yeah, so that's why I usually... this year. Yeah, uh, this year my uh, side cover came off. All the bolts came out for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's because I kind of went first lap. I had hit a big puddle of water and really kind of came up over the bike. And I think I got some on the intake and it might have gotten the engine and then... Yeah. Uh, essentially blew the, the side cover off but so very appreciative go power sports thank you yeah foot peck came off i think over in that corner i hit a i was turning pretty sharp and i hit a rock and then uh and i don't know that was maybe five or six laps into the race and then i basically had to hold my left or my right leg up the, the rest of the race yeah i snapped it right there the foot peg. Because it had bent back, and at first I thought it was like on the other side here, and it had just bent back and it was stuck up. So I was trying to kick it back, but it I had snapped the part of the frame. The swing arm kit, how'd you feel about it? Swing arm kit was awesome since I had lost that foot peg, and I had to sit down pretty much the entire time. I could still basically full send it and the rear suspension would just travel and just do all the work for me. Yeah. I didn't have to really do anything. The bike did everything. It's it's an amazing bike and it's worth worth a buy for sure. Yeah, tires, I hadn't ran those tires before. 
and uh, but I was I was really impressed. It it, uh, it kind of gave me when I wanted to kind of drift to get around a corner. It had that power, but it also had the power to grip and and kind of sink into the ground and push you out of the corners as well. So Andrew Porter laying down some pretty serious lap times without a foot peg. Yeah, awesome and I'm hearing that you, you're at least contending for maybe fastest lap. Ah, uh, hey I ain't Carl. I ain't Carl beat me on the last lap. Yeah. Yeah. Mile, but... out. Good job, though. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. You think I got a replacement? <laughs> That'll do it. What happened? We just lost the gas cap and all the gas came out. Wow. And then he pushed. <laughs> he pushed half a mile. He still is like cont up in contending for a fastest lap, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Killed it. Was, yeah. yeah Carl, Carl's got a beat up fastest lap, but he did have one of the fastest laps. Yeah. We are proud of him. Yeah. Good job, man. So we just got done with the Lime 100. How'd you feel about it? It went pretty good. The trek was pretty solid. I rode the soft tail, so it felt nice and squishy out there. Any issues while you were riding? I had a belt fly off, tear up, and then uh, the chain pop off. Uh, other than that, we tightened up the chain. It was good. The bike ran good. And then the last lap, you lost the... Oh yeah, and then the last lap, I lost the gas cap. The gas came out, so... That was, I had to push it for the rest of the way back, but other than that, it went good. Hey, you, you got a good workout out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating now. Sound like a gas motor. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. I love those tires. How they they're kind of like the same. They'll slip when they'll slip when you want them to, but they'll grip when you need them to as well. With that much power, nice. that's awesome. Now I just gotta get the frame. <laughs> I knew they were gonna sell fast. I was like, so I just bought the the rear suspension kit. Oh, you already got it? Yeah, nice. I just bought it. I you know I was like, I don't have the frame yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy it because I knew they were gonna sell out. Yeah, that like first weekend. Looks like you got the aftermarket uh, weights in that juggernaut. Uh, yes, I think it does. Yeah, it's got the blue on it. Yep. 
What does that mean? It stalls at two. Twenty. Uh, Stock is twenty five hundred. I think it's three. Or it's either three or thirty five. Yeah. So it's kind of a quicker off the line, is what the goal is. Gives you, yeah, you're a little more in your power band. Man, if you had to pick between these two bikes. Which I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> now this bike, don't get me wrong. That thing. Is this loud. thing is bad, bad mo effort, man. But this thing right here, oh, oh, oh. I don't know. It, it's got to be the. Just the stance of it, the wheels of it, like, I felt yeah. like at first I was, I was riding the MB all the time, you know, and it's such a big bike to hop on this and feel the difference in it, like, this rear swing arm kit is pretty amazing, like, it doesn't feel like at first that you're riding a soft tail until you start hitting some of those bumps, yeah. and then it just, just traveled right through it, and even on the smooth track up there, he just cleaned up, it was just cruising. Yeah. And it was flying around them corners. I could just really dig in. Nice. It was a lot of fun. We're going to change some of these. Any of the guys that aren't here, we're going to go DNF here. Let me see. Good job. Good job. Yeah. All right, so they're saying this is a bonfire. That is one big. Bonfire, huh? So I was talking about Go Power Sports and our sponsorship here, right? They sponsored three great prizes. They really did. Um, so Bernie, Taylor's gone. I don't know where he is, but but you know things have changed since you've been on board. So we know you'll run the show now. Pretty much, right? So so come on over here. I got something for you here. Poncho specifically built this really cool Lime 100 trophy for Go Power Sports. And thank you for uh, the work that they're doing with us. So we appreciate that very much. closing up for the day we got the bikes loaded up um, we brought these out here to really test them out see how they did on this track this is our brand new swing arm kit we had Andrew Porter ride it which he did super awesome unfortunately he broke a peg shortly into the race what was that five laps in or something yeah. and he still got third place in the soft tail outlaw so third place with a broken peg for you know almost the whole race he did awesome it was just coincidence we had this bike here nobody was racing it his bike broke for his hardtail race so it just worked out he hopped on this one and tore it up the one thing that people were definitely excited about even though it just happened the 180 yeah <laughs> everybody's talking about it they kept bringing it up i think the 180 this year is going to be awesome I hope everybody here goes to the 180. I want to hit 100 people this year, 100 bikes. Yeah. Uh, but the line was sweet. The track, I hear nothing but good things about the track. Great turnout. Yeah. There must have been 50 bikes yeah. here. At least. But pretty much everybody's done now. We're one of the last cars here. Ready to hit the road? Yep, let's go. Good. 